Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Dear Dr. Sala, writes a listener, I'm in my early 20s and find it difficult to meet other people. I'm so lonely. What can I do? Scores of people can identify with the feeling. Parties, people, laughter, entertainment, perhaps even good food. Yet you feel so inadequate, you ask yourself, what am I doing here? I just don't fit. There are lots of things we can't do anything about. You can't choose your parents or your looks. You can't change the weather or the circumstances of your birth. But when it comes to loneliness, there is a great deal which you can do to change the situation. Like what? Consider the following guidelines. Guideline number one. Realize that loneliness is a choice. Okay, you feel lonely, but you're confronted with a malady you can do something about. And your decision not to change the status is a conscious decision to be lonely. Medical authorities recognize loneliness as a killer. Individuals who live with companions live longer, enjoy better health, emotionally and physically. But with loneliness, the victim becomes both jailer and prisoner. You've got to break the cycle. Guideline number two, plan your escape. Nobody ever breaks out of prison without first thinking a lot about it. In the book of Second Kings in the Old Testament, there is a story of four lepers who sat outside the gate of Samaria. They were not only lonely, they were hungry too. Going into the city was in violation of social custom. There was the possibility of actually being stoned. Yet starving to death wasn't a pleasant option either. Here's the text. They said to each other, Why stay we here until we die? If we say, We'll go into the city, the famine is there, and we die. And if we stay here, we will die. So let's go over to the camp of the Arameans and surrender. If they spare us, we live. If they kill us, then we die. Like those four lepers, you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Break out of the prison of loneliness. Go back to church. Join a youth group or a seniors group. Volunteer at your church, your school, your local hospital. Psychologist Dr. Joyce Brothers says that people who volunteer, they live longer. The important thing is to get out where there are people. Guideline number three, break out of your rut or your prison. When people are depressed or lonely, they forget something very simple yet profound. Phone lines run two ways. They sit by the phone hoping it will ring. They even hope somebody will miss dial so they can hear another human voice. Forgotten is the fact that you can generate the conversation and friendship. Proverbs 18.24 says, A man or a person who has friends must make himself friendly. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Guideline number four, start looking for someone who hurts more than you do. Strangely enough, that usually is quite possible. And when you reach out to someone else, you break out of the prison of loneliness, the one that's trapped you. Near our home is a retirement community where over 20,000 retired people live. At a market nearby, there is a grocery clerk who wistfully said, you know, most people come in here every day and buy a little something. I know they have the money to buy larger quantities, but I think they just want to talk to someone. Guideline 5. Let Jesus be your friend. Loneliness is not a communicable disease, but its cure is. It is well worth treating. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.